Hey, hey, you guys, this is Eriko, back again on your computer screens. I'm actually currently standing on my tippy toes right now. I don't know if I want to go down or go up. You can kind of see, you can't see the message on the shirt, but it actually says we are one. <laughs> You can kind of see it, but yeah, this topic is a topic that can kind of like be one that makes people feel awkward or to try it lightly on and it's been something that has happened occasionally in K-pop, just in the world in general. Recently in America there has been a, a debate about this because Kendrick Lamar used one of his fans as an example at his concert and is the uses of the n-word and how people should and shouldn't say it and in k-pop we have idols that are really interested in the black culture such as hip-hop and r&b and just our magic in general and how talented my race tends to be so they also want to use this word because they feel like that it is kind of like you seeing somebody do something like you're a baby and you basically mimic it. So in this instance where the Korean idols use it, they use it because they hear it a lot in music. But my thing is, is all these Korean singers, Korean rappers, people on show with the money, they claim to like hip hop and rap so much, then you should know a lot more about my culture. And I mean like because hip hop is like a catalyst for my people's culture. And hip hop originally started to talk about the suppression that my people faced in those times and even in certain aspects of the times today. And so people say like black people use the n-word in their music and there are two different types of black people when talking about the usage of this word. There are black people that don't really care, they don't care that someone who isn't black uses it, then there is a black person that does care. For the people who are black who do care, they care because it relates back to the hurt that our race has faced in the past. This word was created to demean. It was created to suppress. This word is like one of the big markers in faces of racism. I mean, worse than someone being called a monkey. It's still being used today to demean and to belittle and to suppress as I speak. It has not retired. People still use it. It's just that it's said more behind closed doors. If you make a certain person mad enough though, and you happen to be black, they'll spew that out at you in a minute. For the people who use it and it's used a lot in hip hop and rap music, you have to understand that this is like a mini rebellion. So it's a mini rebellion and revolution because what these black people have decided to do is take a word that was used to be little and use it in a more creative uplifting and it's an abbreviation as well it's not the n-i-g-g-e-r they're saying n-i-g-g-a you're used to address someone you'd be like you know that you know he, he acting crazy or you know something like that 
And so it's used a lot in, in our music, but what you have to understand too is that originally R&B and hip hop and rap were inside of the black race and in between black people. So it's still seen like that to our race, even though, you know, you have the executives who were basically a whole bunch of old white men and these record labels that saw that rap could become bigger and it can make them a whole lot of money. So now rap and hip hop is like pop, but still to a lot of black people it's considered black music. And it's considered black music because there was a time where we were told that we couldn't do other types of music. And that because we were black, we couldn't do rock, we couldn't do country, we couldn't do anything. We took out a lot of our emotions in R&B and in rap, which was still in itself just sad because we were the ones that actually originally did rock and country. White America pretty much took that music and adapted it into their own culture like it was theirs. In this instance, a lot of people might say, why can't I say the n-word? They use it in their music, they call each other that because it doesn't have the same meaning. When black people use it, the meaning of belittling and suppressing is gone. Gone, disappeared. Poof! Bye. You know, like it's not there anymore. But some black people feel like that when they hear someone who isn't black say it, that meaning comes back. Especially since there are people, not just white people, I've heard Korean people use the N-word. I've heard Japanese people use it and it's not the N-I-G-G-A version. It's the version to belittle. Don't know where they learned this word from. I know where the American counterparts learned it, but I don't know where the Korean Korean people and the Japanese Japanese people learn this word from but they use it like they know it is in their vocabulary You do not get a pass. I don't agree with someone telling someone who is black how they should feel about the word Because no one has any right to tell someone who is black how they shouldn't use the word Especially if you're not black how they should use the word how they shouldn't use the word because it's not our fault that that word was created to hurt us and to belittle us and to suppress us and to be surrounded in racism. You know, we didn't choose for that to happen. So, and you run across a black person and you might slip up and say the N word because you're singing lyrics to a song. Remember that it's not our fault. It's your ancestors fault. <laughs> you need to be mad at them. That's who you need to be mad at. You don't need to be mad at black people for being mad at you. There's some black people when using this word that don't care. Because they have Korean friends, Korean American friends that use this word around black people that are okay with them using it. But you have to understand that every black person is different. Not every black person is going to approve you using this word. For me, I'm just like, I personally, I don't. I don't like when people who are black use it. I don't use it a lot myself. But I will say that when I listen to rap, I do sing the lyric. I do, I won't lie. But you know, I do kind of feel strange when I hear someone who isn't black say it. Cause I feel like that the magic that we created from this abbreviated word, not the N-I-G-G-E-R, but the N-I-G-G-A word, it still takes on those certain characteristics that wouldn't be there if only black people were saying it. So it's really just a revolution for us. It's not about leaving people out and it's not on purpose. It's just that it's the history behind the word is why. And I have friends that are white that would sing along to songs that have this word in it and they just edit the word out. For K-pop, man, K-pop idols who use it, I really just want them to like learn more about my culture. I feel like that they take bits and pieces of what they want and they don't really take the time to learn about like, cause like, for example, with the people that kind of fought back when we were talking about cultural appropriation and that appropriation of black culture, of my culture, and like Jackson Wang was like fighting people back saying that he respects our culture. I did not like that at all. I didn't like how 
he was fighting back against people and telling people like you know oh i'm jackson wang and you need to leave me alone and you're a hater because if you really understood our culture you would know that there's a lot of hurt in our culture too there's a lot of hate throwing at us and it affects us a lot and the best thing that you could do in a situation like that is to not say anything at all and just let it ride and I would have respected him more had he done that. So just listen. You know, like, when we talk about something like this, when we talk to your idols and your fandoms, listen. Same thing, you Korean, American, Japanese American, stuff happens. A black person trying to tell you their story and for you to listen. Not to be a victim, but for you to listen. Just listen. So yeah, you guys, this is a lot to think about. Please follow my social media, mostly my Instagram. I also have a blog on East Asian pop culture. The link will be in the description box below. And remember, be real, stay real, live in the real. And I will be back. Thanks for watching. Just like this.